The tip will begin in just a moment. If you like these tips, you're going to love our computer-based training, which is available at the Techies website in our store. 24 hours of fun-filled GD&T fundamentals. Now here's your tip. Often two holes are used as datum features. I've had several requests to explain just how the datum reference frame is related to the holes. In this tip, I'll show you a simple example. And in our next tip, I'll show you what changes if the holes are on a diagonal. All parts in space have six ways they can move around, known as the degrees of freedom. Our manufacturing, processing, and inspection equipment has planes and when we use three of those planes that are mutually perpendicular to measure from, it's known as the datum reference frame. The idea is to select features on the part and align them to those planes. On this part, we've selected datum feature A as that surface. So we want to take that surface, especially if it's in an inspection setup, and align it to a measurement plane. When we do that, that will constrain or arrest three of the six degrees of freedom. Then we would select another feature such as one of the holes as datum feature B. We would then use the axis of the related actual mating envelope of that feature and align to that. Now that is actually the intersection of two more planes that are at right angles to the first one and to each other. Now we use datum feature C to orient those planes because we have an origin but the part can still rotate. The axis at B only took away two of the degrees of freedom. So C takes away that last degree of freedom for us. You can't always follow the standard exactly. The difference between the requirements of the standard and what you do causes uncertainty. Uncertainty is always present. We just try to minimize and manage it because at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.